saved a lot of lives. Checks and uh, tax cuts to give them just a little extra breathing room, ordinary Americans, and, uh, and lower health care costs. Folks, millions of Americans across the country may soon face lower federal unemployment benefits. Multiple lawmakers in Congress are trying to push back on that change. Social Security recipients could see the biggest raise in 40 years. So yes, everybody, we have a ton of views to cover in today's video. Welcome back to my channel, and hope all of you guys are having a great day. Now, before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. On this channel, I always do my best in providing you with the most up-to-date and reliable stimulus check information. So be sure to subscribe. Now, millions of Americans are poised to lose their unemployment benefits or see a lower weekly payment due to a collision of state rules and the expiration of federal programs. Such workers are reaching the end of their benefit year, which makes a year since they applied for assistance. Seeking aid past this point typically triggers a review from state labor agencies. They assess a worker's recent earnings record to judge whether the person qualifies for a new installment of benefits, and if so, the appropriate amount. Folks, recipients who have not found a job or have worked few hours since the start of the crisis may be out of luck. Little earnings will likely mean a much lower, if any, benefit. Until now, a federal program, the Crisis Emergency Unemployment Compensation, has largely kept income support intact for these long-term unemployed, even if their benefit year elapsed. But that program ends nationwide after Labor Day. Around two dozen states, mostly Republican, ended it early. According to Labor Department data, roughly 4.7 million people, a third of all recipients, were collecting benefits through the program as of June 26. So it's unclear how many of them first applied for benefits more than a year ago. But another data set from the Bureau of Labor Statistics suggests that 2.9 million Americans have been out of work for more than a year, though not all necessarily collect jobless benefits. Folks, folks, do you think it is right for President Biden to send out the Ford stimulus check? Leave a comment down below saying yes or no. And do you believe that he should keep his promise of helping the American people, especially our seniors, by increasing the social security benefits by $200 a month? Tell me your thoughts on this, everybody, in the comments. Today is the sixth month anniversary of the Senate Democratic majority. As busy as the last six months have been, and it's been a Senate of major, major accomplishment already. Now, Andrew Stetner, an unemployment expert at the Century Foundation, told CNBC, they will have to scramble to find a job, go on food stamps, use their savings. Rental assistance should still be available, but they won't have cash income really. The benefit year issue applies to those eligible to collect state unemployment insurance. About 5.7 million self-employed, gig, freelance, and other workers who are ineligible for state benefits are collecting federal aid through the Crisis Unemployment Assistance Program, which also ends September 6th. The Crisis Emergency Unemployment Compensation Program has been available to workers since the beginning. Created by the CARES Act, it offers aid to those who exhaust their allotment of standard state benefits, generally up to 26 weeks, but sometimes much less, depending on the state. Congress has twice extended the program's duration via stimulus relief measures passed in December and March. The most recent, the American Rescue Plan, extended it to September 6th. 22 states opted to end federal unemployment assistance, including aid for the long-term unemployed in June or July. Another four opted for an early end to a $300 weekly supplement to benefits. Some officials claimed the extra benefits were causing recipients to stay home instead of looking for jobs. Critics of that stance say other factors, like ongoing risk and childcare duties, played a bigger role in any perceived labor shortages. States use different formulas to determine how workers can requalify for assistance once their benefit year has elapsed. All of them require at least some recent work history to be eligible, though to varying degrees. Now, Social Security recipients are on track to receive the biggest cost of living raise in four decades, driven by a rapidly rebounding economy that's caused the biggest surge in inflation in years. Folks, this is great news for all of you, because this means that you will get a huge boost in your Social Security benefits next year. Senior Citizens League, a nonpartisan that focuses on issues relating to older Americans, estimated the adjustment could be as high as 6.1% based on June inflation data, which showed that consumer prices in June spiked 5.4% from a year prior, the fastest year-over-year -year jump since 2008. The annual Social Security change is calculated based on the Consumer Price Index for urban wage earners and clerical workers. Should Social Security beneficiaries see a 6.1% increase to the monthly checks next year? 
It would mark the steepest annual adjustment since 1983, when recipients saw a 7.4% bump. The Senior Citizens League, previously predicted the COLA for 2022, could be 5.3% based on data from May. In 2021, recipients received one of the lowest COLA measures increases in years, with an increase of just 1.3%, or about an extra $20 a month for retirees. The estimated figure could still be subject to change, and ultimately hinges on the economy's performance over the next few months, and whether the Federal Reserve raises interest rates to combat rising inflation. Folks, do you believe that SSI beneficiaries should receive an increase in their social security benefits? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Support that a lot of our friends on the other team kind of miss. The polling data shows that they strongly support, strongly support our efforts for infrastructure. I think they're a little tired of infrastructure week for four years in a row. I think we're on the verge of maybe able to get something really done. Rebuilding roads and bridges, replacing lead water pipes, delivering high-speed internet to every American, rural and inner city, and taking on the climate crisis with, uh, with American jobs. And they want us to build back, to build back better. They don't know the name necessarily, but they know that they support universal pre-K and two years of community college, paid leave and child care, which is essentially a significant tax cut for working class families and allowing Medicare to negotiate lower drug costs, uh, which will significantly reduce drug prices across the board for people. And they support asking the wealthiest 1% of Americans and corporate America not to pay more than just begin to pay their fair share, just step up a little bit. The idea that 15 largest corporations in America uh, pay no tax, is I, I think people should be able to be millionaires and billionaires if they have the ideas, but Lord's sake, the idea, let's start paying your fair share. And third thing is, there, and by the way, there's overwhelming evidence in the polling data, they support what we're doing is how to pay for these programs. Thirdly, uh, restoring American leadership in the world. I know uh, you all have, those of you who travel around the world, I know our ambassador to the United Nations knows it full well that America has, was really behind the eight ball the last four years. We've lost a lot of our standing. I don't have to tell that to my buddy sitting on my right here, the Secretary of State, he understands it well. And as I said before, we are, we are defining, in a defining competition right now for the 21st century, for the second quarter of the 21st century, with China and many other nations. And uh, many of these nations believe that autocracy is the future, that democracies cannot compete with autocracy because it's so hard, things are moving so rapidly.